So in this video, we're just going to be creating this simple Pinterest layout in React to JS. There's no real programming involved. It's just simple CSS and uh, HTML. Let me add a few more of these uh, pins to the screen. So let me just do this. Let me copy this. These three. Paste, paste, paste. Say paste. Save. We'll go back. We'll do an F5. So it's very simple. We just use a bit of CSS. And it handles the responsiveness for us. So we don't have to do any sort of real programming. We can resize the browser like this, and it restructures it so it's all vertical like that. And so if this interests you at all, leave a like, it helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and let's begin. All right, so let's start off by creating two new components. So we're gonna have a, let's say call this the actual Pinterest layout. This is gonna be the grid system. So Pinterest layout.js, and we'll have a an actual card, so one of the cards or the pins, we'll call it a pin on screen. Both will be, let's say, are they both functional? Yeah, they're both functional components. RFC, there we go. Let's do my exports here. So export default, and that's Pinterest layout. I spell that right? Pinterest layout, yeah. All right. And the pin will be a functional component as well. Export default down here. Export default pin. And all right, so let's just normalize the uh, let's normalize the uh, the body of the page. So margin padding. Let's give a background color of gray. Save. Perfect. All right, let's close this. In the app, let's use the Pinterest layout. We'll do it here. Pinterest layout from components slash Pinterest layout. .js, let's use it here. Pinterest layout, there we go. Close that, Pinterest layout uses the pin, so let's import that here. Import pin from pin. There we go. All right, so let's handle the pin container first. So let's do that here. Yeah, let's do, we'll do style objects. Let's do const styles is equal to, this will be the pin container and object. Let's do this. All right, so let's do the style here and then we'll code up the actual style. So style is equal to, and we'll just do styles dot pin container. Save. All right. So pin container. Let's start with a normalize. So margin zero. Do padding of zero as well. Let's do a width of eighty viewport width string. So eighty eighty vw. Let's do a background color of black. So background color of black. Let's uh, center it on the X axis. So position absolute, we'll do a left of 50%. 50%, we'll do a transform, translate, that should be a string. Translate of X, negative 50%. All right, let's handle the actual uh, grid system. So display of grid, obviously. We'll do a, what would be, be grid, template columns and that's going to be repeat auto dash fill and we'll do 250 pixels we'll do the grid auto rows and we'll do a what should we do here let's do 10 pixels for that so what we're saying with these two lines is this let me open up paint for this grid template columns what it says is this so we have a container here, and all it says is repeat and autofill 250 pixels per entry into your grid. And so one of the pins, the width is gonna be 250. That's 250, autofill. We add another one, we add another one, we add another one. And if this one can't um, be placed within the boundaries of your container, just start a new row. So that's all the autofill does. 250, 250, 250, 250, you can't go here, just start a new row. And what this says, grid auto rows is, each new row is 10 pixels. Control Z that, is 10 pixels. 
you'll see why this, uh, so the height of each card, the small guy, one of the small cards is going to be two, I think it's 230, 23, three. It's 260 by two, no, it's going to be 250 by 260. It's 250 by 260, but how can that be, this 260, the height? How can that be if each row is 10 pixels? We'll get to that in a second. So that should be it for the pin container, margin padding width, background color. With da 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 da, save. All right, so let's uh, style up one of these pins. So a pin, another style object. Style is equal to, and we'll call this guy uh, pin. Each pin is going to have a margin of zero. Let's say padding of zero as well. Let's say a border radius of, uh, let's say 16 pixels. Should not be semicolon there. And what do we need here? Let's say background color of red. Color of red. And let's pass down the size of each pin from the Pinterest layout. So let's do this. We can do pin. We'll say size is equal to small. Paste, paste. Size is equal to medium. Size is equal to large. Let's accept that in the pin. So we need the props here. And each pin is going to have a style. And we're just going to destructure it. So dot 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 styles dot pin. And there's going to be another thing down here. Let's define the actual sizes. So we have a small, medium, and large. A small. Copy. Actually, let's do this first. Small, medium. Let me scroll up just a bit. And large. Large, medium. So what's the uh, what's the properties in small? It's gonna be really simple. It's gonna be grid. What's it gonna be? Row, end, and it's gonna be a span of 26 for this guy. Copy, paste, paste. For the medium, it's excuse me, that's 36, 26. This guy should be 33, and this guy's 45. So all this says is grid row end. That's where the row ends, 26, 26 what? Well, 26 rows. And since each row is 10 pixels right here, what we have is this, control N, don't save. Let's say we have one card here. This is not the, uh, this is not the container, it's a card. Let's say it's a small card. So we know for a fact that the width right here is 250 pixels. And now we know that each row is 10 pixels, but this small card is made up of 26 rows. So that's where we get the 260 from. So a small card is 250 by 260, 250 by 260. A medium card is 250 by 330, so 250 by 330. And a large card is 250 by 450. 250 by 450. So let's add these to this. So the props that come in, we'll say this, dot, dot, dot. We'll say props.size, and which of these, uh, not props.size, excuse me. This should be styles. And it'll be this. Which of these? Well, the props.size is going to be small, medium, or large. So let's do this. Props.size. All right, let's save. Let's go to our little page here, and I forgot the uh, the margins for each card. Let's go back here. Right here, let's do a margin. So 15 on the top, so 15 pixels on the top, and bottom, and we'll do 10 pixels on the, uh, the, the left and the right. Save, go back. Let's see, we have five. There we go, so small, medium, large. Let's do Control shift j let me show you something. Elements, let's do, that's the root. So notice on the left side here, you can see the uh, the multiple rows per card. And let's just inspect one of these cards. Let's inspect the small one right here. There. So notice the dimensions here, 230 by 230. But I thought the math said 250 by 260. Well, we have a margin of 15 on top, margin of 15 on the bottom, margin of, margin of 10 on the left, and a margin of 10 on the right. 15 and 15 is 30. The 250 minus 30 is the 230. And 10, actually that'd be the width, excuse me. 15, 15 is 30, 260 minus the 30 is 230. 
10 plus 10 is 20, 250 minus the 20 is 230. So that's how we're getting the actual dimensions of the, uh, of the card here. 230 by 230, and those are the margins. Same thing for the medium. It's, uh, it's supposed to be 250 by 330, but we have the 230 by 300. And the large should be, what should it be? 250 by 450, but we have the 230 by 420 here. So let me add a few more cards, and then we'll look at the responsiveness of this. So let me copy this, paste that here, let's paste that here, paste that here. Save, go back, and close this. And I forgot to center the, uh, we'll center all of these. They're starting on the left. Let's center the, the grid. Let's do it right here. Justify content center. Let me close this. All right, so that's the finished product. The CSS grid handles the responsiveness. So we do something like this, and it just auto resizes based on the on the width of the container. So I can go like this. I can scroll down. All the cards are here, all are the pins. I can scroll back out. And we have our little uh, Pinterest layout. And so that's going to be for the video. Leave a like, it helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.